here lies the first little bit of wreckage from a derailment that happened, I believe, in 1974. The information that a friend of mine can provide. I'm not sure how many cars derailed, but uh, I think some of them had to have been coal cars. There's coal all over the place. More wreckage on down that way. Here's some more pieces of wreckage. Tie plate. <clears throat> some piece of rail car, I believe. It's been cut up by a torch. It's lodged in the ground pretty deep. Big chunks of coal like that laying around everywhere. Old tie plate. I don't know if it's got a date on it. I can't read nothing on it. Pieces over there lodged inside the, the creek bed and the bank. There's a couple wheels over there buried in the ground. Work over there here in a minute. There's a piece right there, right on the edge of the bank. Could be several pieces laying down there in the bottom of the, the creek bed. I'm not really sure. I wouldn't doubt it. It's not very far away from the edge of the tracks, which is just right there. I'm going to work my way over there. More wreckage. A couple wheels laying in the ground. Another one right over there. Well, them things are big. Not far from the, the stream there. Another mangled up piece of metal over here, some sort. It's old, it's got rivets in it. You got a wheel there, wheels, axle, whatever you wanna call it. One buried right there. Of course you got piles of old ties and a couple insulators right there. A little bit of everything down here. State Route 73 up there also. Couple of nice looking insulators there. Even got some white ones up there. Pretty nice No chips in them or nothing. Let's check these wipers out. I don't see too many white ones like that. Here's the other axle, wheels, buried inside the bank. like to know how heavy them things are. Damn, them things are monstrous. Could be dozens of them buried down here in the bank. Never know. Or laying in the creek bed over there. Just gonna work our way on down, see if we can find anything else. Look at here, more insulators. These things might be laying around here everywhere. Of course, there's more piles of rotten ties. 
all over the bank. Looks like we got a pole here that might have been knocked over or something. Not really sure. No insulators on this one. It's got the tie down on it still. I imagine that's a insulator of some sort. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about these. Very neat looking. There's a house over here too. Nothing over there. I really don't want to go over that way. An ex-girlfriend lives over there actually. <laughs> don't want to go over there. But there's nothing. A little bit of derailment stuff laying around. Not too much. That way's looking toward Otway. A lot of insulators around here. And it's pouring the rain, was. It's slowed down a little bit. It's cold, wet, foggy, miserable. Walking by this pole here and I found some more insulators. Or insulators laying on the ground here. There's one out over there and one right here. Both clear ones. Tell you what, these things are just laying all over the place. I'm not really sure why this derailment happened. I'm not sure yet, but uh, this curve all the way around here is pretty steep, or sharp, I mean. Uh, I don't know if it was going too fast or, or what, but I'll try to find that out. But it is a really sharp curve, that's for sure. There you have it. Right there along 73, real close. Old signal down there, it's been stripped and gutted. At least the rain's finally stopped. <laughs> I actually found this spot yesterday on mistake. I was looking for a, a new fishing hole. Stumbled across it. I knew there was one that happened in this area years ago, but not sure when. <laughs> 